Hey guys, it's uh, Chris Yersini here back from CNH Smallings again for another uh, informative uh, video here. Uh, this video deals with the tractor currently in front of me right here. It's a Cub Cadet AGS 2140. It's the uh, signature, or I say, the Series 2000 tractor. And uh, I had a customer here call me up here today, or not, not today, early this week here. Sorry about that. And he was claiming the machine would not uh, start up at all. It would not even crank over. And I had to ask him to be more specific when, when he means not start. And I asked him, is it cranking or is it not cranking at all? And he said, it's not cranking over at all. And it turns finds out that uh, he had a, uh, I'll show you the ground here. He had this part right here. It is, move it over here. Yeah, there we go. This goes on it like so. This part right here in front of me, you see, is a uh, kill switch uh, button pusher underneath there. It's actually on the uh, uh, right-handed foot uh, disengagement and uh, neutral switch uh, br uh, bracket underneath the uh, the frame of the machine. And uh, this thing actually broke off underneath there, and they're uh, quite a pain in the butt to get at underneath there because it's on the, uh, the, the railing underneath the machine. It actually holds uh, the spring mechanism and the whole uh, neutral arm engagement and your um, your brake assembly and your whole uh, uh, frame part underneath there. And you really got to be a uh, Gumby to get underneath there to replace these uh, specific things right here. Basically what this thing does is it has a bolt right here that mounts to the uh, uh, one arm underneath here and you, you bolt this part right here and it has a little notch taken out of the top part and that holds up in the upper upper part as well and this uh, bendy part right here this pushes against your uh, neutral kill switch it goes in and out whenever you push your uh, neutral brake pedal disengaging pedal on the uh, right foot side over there and that's how you start your machine if that thing is not in place or it's out of place or it's broke or whatnot uh, they can cause problems starting up and the thing will not even turn over at all. So if uh, anybody has any problems that are similar to that right there, uh, this is this applies to the Cub Cadet uh, Series 2000 tractors on the market. I have one almost identical to this one right here and uh, mine's a uh, 2006 model and mine basically has the same identical piece as this one as well too. It's basically a real cheap, cheap ass uh, piece of metal right here but it does provide a critical part that uh, needs to be done. It engages and disengages the uh, the safety kill switch underneath the uh, uh, your brake uh, part right there, your brake lever mechanism, whatever you want to call it right there. So if anybody has any problem that uh, requires you to push the brake in the end, doesn't want to crank, always check the safety switch uh, apparatus on the machine because if they do not work, your machine can be dead in the water for that. And that's usually the uh, the first indicator of problems right there that should need to be addressed right there as well. So, anybody got any problems, uh, questions, comments, whatnot, just uh, give me a call back here and I will try to answer any questions you may have. Let me go on the other side of this track to show you what I'm talking about. There we go. There's the brake mechanism right there. You can see the top brake mechanism and the other mechanism right underneath there is the, the uh, drive. Uh, your your um, speeder speedometer, whatever you want to call it. You push this thing to go fast, and you push it back to go slow. You go the opposite direction for reverse. Well, apparently that uh, mechanism I was discussing is underneath this rod. It's way, it's jammed up way underneath the side on here. You got to take this deck off, and you got to jack this whole tractor up to crawl underneath there. Then on top of that, you got to be Gumby to uh, get it up in there because they are an absolute bitch to get inside. So let me get up on and show you how it runs now. Now whenever you start these things up, that thing must make contact entirely with the switch like it is doing now. And when, I'm, when I push it forwards all the way like it is, that piece I showed you down there is engaging against the start, start or I should say neutral switch, what do you want to call it? They call it a dead man's kill switch. I don't know what they call it exactly, but it does go against the switch so the engine can turn over. So. Let's try to fire up here. There we go. No problem. It goes good. So that solved the problem right there with it not wanting to start. So anybody has any questions, comments, whatnot, just give me a call back. And I will answer any questions you have. I'll see you guys.